How you doing, man? Okay, so? Vehicle 517. How you doing? Doing well. How you doing today? No, just taking a walk. We have police vehicles 517. And 589 is the second vehicle. Howdy. If you don't mind for me, can you step on the other side of those stairs down there, please? Again, we're in New Orleans. It's uh, almost midnight. Uh, it's two minutes to midnight. It's still technically Thursday, November 21st. We're on Gravis Street, just west of Eads. And just happened to see a couple New Orleans police employee vehicles that had stopped another gentleman. So myself and my colleague Garrett, who's a little bit further west, are now filming just to create an objective record. Uh, thus far, the police employees know of our presence. Just thought we'd document the stop, make sure nothing crazy happens. Both police employees leaving before the individual. Alright, we're uh, streaming again. I told the dude to put his hands up. Right now, we're on Galvez and Franklin again, just about half a block west of where we were. So, police vehicles. 589, which was involved in the previous stop, and 517 as well. Again, having the streaming app is definitely a peace of mind. I think they're trying to direct it over here. I'm just going to move a little bit. Look at this, very mature. Let's see if it follows with me. <clears throat> the uh, spotlight's been moved now three times to follow my movement. I was told uh, here's a third police employee vehicle showing up to the scene. Vehicle 507 with a headlight out. They are blocking the street now. We've been filming now for nine and a half minutes. Got a spotlight now shining on us for no reason. We got traffic here getting backed up. I'm going to move a little bit. Right now the spotlight's blocked by the tree, but uh, let's see what we can see here. Sir, I spoke with a public information officer a couple days ago and was told no one would interfere with filming of police activities. How are you doing? Hey, I'm Pete. I'm Pete. Okay. Hey, I'm Garrett. Nice to meet you. See you. Yeah, we're just stopping by. We're just uh, hoping to talk with somebody about uh, the ability of people to film police and while they're out on the street. Has that ever been an issue here in New Orleans, or have cameras been taken from people, or has anybody been threatened? Not that I know of. Is there a policy that New Orleans has, like on the books, that the employees are trained with uh, to not uh, try to deter people from filming police employees? No, that's everybody's right. Okay, everybody's right. Yes. Yeah, I mean, we, just, we can't stop anyone from filming. Yeah. Sir, I spoke with a public information officer a couple days ago and was told no one would interfere with filming of police activities. 
and shining the spotlight on me is f interfering with filming yeah. your, your actions. Can you step across the street from me interfering with us? Well, I'm trying to talk no, to your colleague. Don't worry about him. I'm asking you to step across. Well, the at the conclusion of the stop, I need to talk with both of you. Step across the street from me. Okay, I'm I'm far enough away, sir. Again, I'm practically in the middle of this median here. You can see it separates Franklin Street. Not interfering at all. Merely voiced my uh, right to document public employees who claim to work for the public. This individual in the red pants now. It's being, I believe he's gonna be put in handcuffs. I heard them come out, patting the individual down. Thus far, we've been out here 14 minutes. They're uh, actually putting this individual into vehicle number 589. First police vehicle now looks like it's leaving the scene. Without uh, engaging in a conversation with me as I requested per their uh, actions of shining spotlights in the camera, which is completely ridiculous. And uh, anybody who wants to knee-jerk reaction say, why do you film police employees? You see how they act when people film their actions. Again, uh, myself and my colleague are not interfering at all, and they're trying to deter our ability to document their actions. And that alone speaks volumes. What do they have to hide?